This is Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. An Egyptian court on Saturday dropped all charges against former dictator Hosni Mubarak, who stepped down more than three years ago after a mass movement brought the country to a standstill. Mubarak was charged with ordering the killing of hundreds of Egyptian protesters. But the decision to drop charges has confirmed the worst fears of those involved in the historic Tahrir Square protests that the revolution has been undone. The decision to drop charges was apparently based on Mubarak's old age. His two sons and one of his business colleagues were also acquitted. Many pro-Mubarak officials have been released in the past several months. In response, Egyptian students have taken to the streets once more, with nearly 100 people arrested and at least two people killed in clashes with police. Political cartoons depicting the return of the old guard have given expression to the frustration felt by ordinary Egyptians. Egypt's top prosecutor has promised to appeal the ruling. Also in Egypt this week, a militant organization saying it is affiliated with the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria announced that it had killed an American oil worker named William Henderson. The group, named Ansar Beit al maqdis published photos of Henderson's passport and ID cards online. My guest is Saif Dana. He is an associate professor of sociology and international studies at the University of Wisconsin Parkside, specializing in the Middle East and North Africa. Welcome to Uprising Safe. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, first, is Mubarak free um, or is he going to be free very soon, walking around a free man or at least being carried around in a stretcher, as photos showed? And, and is he indeed too old to face charges? Uh, well, basically, he will be free in the next two months because he is serving a, currently he's serving a sentence of three years. And um, according to the regulations in, in Egypt, he served most of it, although he did that in the hospital. Uh, but he was freed only for nine months, and that will be deducted from the time um, from three and a half years that he's supposed to serve for other charges that are not related to this, actually. But it's a corruption charges. Uh, but the charges um, regarding killing hundreds of um, um, being responsible, politically at least, for killing the uh, hundreds of Egyptian demonstrators and uh, rebels during the 25th, January 25th uh, revolution um, was actually overturned. He was sentenced uh, to life previously um, in the first uh, session of the court. And after the appeal, what happened two days ago is essentially that the court overturned the, the sentence and uh, set him free. So after two months, he will be most likely set free.